Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give an overview on how to play our Math Pup Math Adventure 2 game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and puzzle games and teaching tools to play and use, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything's always free to play and use. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start the menu, this is what you're going to see uh, when you first start, and you'll see the play button. That'll take you to the game, and we're going to click on that, and we'll see how to play in a minute. Instructions will take you over to the instruction page, and it just basically shows you how to play. Um, go ahead and click back. More games button will take you to our site, mathnook.com, and video will take you to the page on mathnook that has this video. Go ahead, let's go ahead and click play. Now, <coughs> if you'd like... If you've been playing a while, you can see I played and I've opened up the first five levels. I can reset the progress, uh, click this button, and it'll, it'll basically um, make it where only the first level is unlocked. And as I could play each and complete each level, the next level opens up until you complete all 15 levels. The no danger mode, you can turn that on and off. And I'm going to show you what the difference is right now. So no danger mode is on. Let's look at level three. Notice there's nothing here. Now you can, there's a little bit of danger because if you get the wrong answer, the game will start over just like, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's got an X there and said, oops, the equation is incorrect. Space bar for the next level or to restart the level. Okay, so let's go ahead and that is the no danger zone because keep in mind there's nothing down there and I'll show you the difference. Let's go ahead and click play and let's turn off so there is danger now. You can see there's spikes there. So in the previous version, I could run down here and fall down here and then jump here, and I still uh, wouldn't wouldn't start over. But in this one, if if Math Pup actually hits this, it'll cause the level to restart. And on later levels, there's more dangers and falling objects, stuff like that. And so that's a little different. The only difference, and it kind of puts more of a challenge. Um, and that kind of really depends on uh, what you're interested in and how you'd like to play. But basically, I'm going to play with the no danger mode on. So you would just focus on the math. One thing I would like to say is now you've got this down. Let's go ahead and restart the level. And you'll see the uh, numbers change, equations change. So what you'll find is this has a lot of replay value because you can go back and um, play it again and if you want just to practice the math so I'm going to use the arrow keys but in the mobile or touch version you're going to have <coughs> excuse me arrow keys up here that you can use to um, move right and left and uh, um, jump up and double jump now what I'm using I'm using the arrow keys right left uh, you can't see a double jump here but I'm using up arrow to jump now the mushrooms actually change the um, highlighted equation so right now any number that I hit is going to fill it in there so 6 plus 7 is equal 13 not 11 so I need to go ahead and look at what equation 7 satisfies because that's going to be the first one I can hit um, so 7 plus 4 equals 11 that's the correct equation so what I'm going to do is go ahead and move math pup over the mushroom every time I jump up it moves it down now I have the 4 plus blank equals 11 come over here 7 and that that was correct you can see the check mark there and now the next equation that's highlighted is 6 plus blank is equal 11 so it's going to be the 5 go ahead and hit that and the next one 4 plus blank is 7 which is going to be the 3 once I get all of those equations or use all the numbers I should say get the key and open it up okay now I can hit space bar for the next level and now I'm going to look at this. Um, you've got neither one of these numbers here, 4 and 6. 4 and 6 that I can get answers this equation. So I see the mushroom over there. I'm going to run over there. There's a double jump. And don't need to in this level. Well, I will in a minute, but not right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and I'll get the 4 first. So it so it's 4 satisfies 6 plus blank equals 10. So let's go ahead and pick up that number. And I get my check mark. And now 5 plus other number 6. I'm going to have to bump it one more time. So that 6 plus the 6 that I get does equal 12. Now here's where I have to... Oh, I better get, pick up the key first. 
here's where I have to double jump. Now I could go over here. Well, I just did it right there, but I'll go ahead and show you. If I right here, oop, hit it. And you saw the double jump to get that extra height. And the key opened the door, and I can go to the next level. So that's pretty much how you play the game. What I'll do now is um, I'll kind of sign off and, and just show you how uh, the rest of the video will show you how to walk through the rest of the levels. I believe there's 15 to do. This is level three, so I'll pick up at level three. But I'm not going to uh, talk anymore. I'll just concentrate on getting through the levels. Yeah, there's 15, and so I'll go through all the levels, and you can see how I do it. And now just keep in mind that they're going to change. Uh, the math will change on it every time because it's fairly random. But uh, you can see what you need to do in each level. So if you get stuck, um, but I'd recommend just playing it straight through. And if you really get stuck, you can come back to this video and see how to solve a particular level. So anyways... Um, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, the rest of the solutions will follow, starting with level three. And um, I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope the, this, this video helps some. And uh, have fun with it. And here it goes.